My objective with Kate today was to create a beautiful, gorgeous, healthy, dewy, glossy skin with subtly refined details. I love working on freckly skin. So many people try and go for that beachy, beachy tanned look. And when I come across someone that's covered in this beautiful speckled freckled, I just think it's special. I love this mask because it's an exfoliant with pomegranate fruit enzymes. I love to use this product before makeup because it just cleans up. It's almost like when you're wiping it off, you're wiping away all the dead skin cells that have been loosened and released from the skin and it's just being tissued off. The Collagen Boosting Mask by Organic Pharmacy is a special treat for the skin. You layer it on the skin quite thickly and you allow it to absorb entirely into your skin. It's beautiful. I always put lip balm on because it's going to hydrate and condition the lip before I put any kind of lip product on. Murad has two excellent hybrid primers. They have a tint to them, so they give you a tinted moisturizer face, but actual better conditioning, particularly good for the freckly skin. I don't want to mask her freckles. I actually want them to shine through. I just still want that tinted moisturizer type skin. I applied a light base of foundation on top of the primer just because I wanted her to have a little bit more coverage than just the tinted moisturizer look. I always do concealer last when the actual blemishes are clear and uncovered and then I know exactly what I need to cover up. A light dusting and contouring around the cheek area works brilliantly as long as you keep it super minimal and very light. As you can see, it's extremely lightly dusted. Be gentle. I love using Giorgio Armani Fluid Shears. This one is a white frost sheer liquid, and I like to gently highlight with this product in between the eyebrows, down the bridge of the nose, and over the lips. The reason why I use blending brushes for the eyeliner instead of actually using the eyeliner straight on because I'm, I'm looking for a soft shaded effect around the lash line. I don't want to see hard lines. This little biotherm number is fantastic. It's actually pure iridescent sheen powder. It creates a bright reflective quality on top of the eyelid. Be very careful with your mascara. The biggest telltale is seeing mascara that's been imprinted on top of the eye. Be very careful, take your time. As this look is extremely soft, I like to line the inside of the eye with the eyeliners that I used on the outside. It creates more definition as you see it pulls the look together. I have a little bit of an obsession with brow gel and people who don't use it. It's the simplest way of making yourself pull together. Because we've already conditioned the lip, you can take a matte product like a blush and actually dust it over the lip so it picks up the pigment and the pigment then sticks to the conditioning and that's what I did here with Kate. Kate was talking to me about wearing bright, bold colours on her lips. I dusted it around the lip line, making sure to keep the inside of the lip pink. This is what makes this look wearable. 